My name is Paul and welcome to High School Physics Explained and today I would like to talk about resonance. What is resonance? First, before I explain things with the equipment in front of me, let me draw you to an experience that you are no doubt familiar with. You sit on a swing and it swings naturally at a particular frequency. Then someone pushes you with very minimal effort and allows you to swing at a greater amplitude. The key is they push you at exactly the same frequency at which you swing at. That is resonance. In essence, a object or a situation that has a natural frequency and experiences a force vibration that has a frequency that is equal to the natural frequency. And so I'm now going to demonstrate resonance with this setup over here. And it's actually very similar to the common legend of a singer causing a glass to break. The key here is not that they're loud, but the fact that the glass has a particular natural frequency and they are singing a note that is a forced frequency that is exactly the same. And so I have here a glass and the glass is a wine glass. It has its own natural frequency. And in this case, the frequency is 575 Hertz. Now it's not a perfect glass. There's a few imperfections. And so there is a little bit of dampening going on, but the predominant frequency here is 575 Hertz. And then I have here a speaker and I've got a chain generator that is able to produce a single frequency of 575 Hertz. What will happen when I put the two together? And so what I'm going to do is going to put the speaker nice and close to the glass. The glass, of course, has its own natural frequency of 575 Hertz. And we have a speaker that will force a vibration onto it. And the sound of the speaker is going to cause the glass to vibrate at its natural frequency. But because the glass is vibrating at its natural frequency and receiving energy from the force vibration from the speaker, it's going to cause the glass to vibrate with a greater amplitude. It's going to be louder. And as long as I put the speaker on, then the vibrations will continue to add that we're going to get an increase in amplitude. And if I have it on loud enough, and if I have it on long enough, and if this glass was as perfect as possible, I could in effect cause the glass to break. Now that's probably not going to happen. But in our case, if I switch the speaker off, you should hear the continued ringing of the glass. And we'll see that on the screen behind me as well. And to help us, I'm going to put our microphone nice and close to the situation. Well, as you can hear, the glass continues to vibrate. We are forcing a vibration on it. We have resonance and we have an increase in energy in terms of the sound that we hear from the glass. But let's try a different frequency. In this case, I'm going to use 500 and 80 hertz, a little higher than the situation before. Will we get the same effect? You'll notice it is significantly quieter. We are not applying a vibration that is the same frequency as the glass. And so we definitely are not getting resonance. Now resonance is actually a really important concept in mechanical engineering. You do not want resonance to occur where you have force vibrations on a structure that has a particular natural frequency. So for example, a bridge may, a poorly designed bridge may have a natural frequency. And if the vibrations of the traffic going across it is similar or equal to the frequency that is the natural frequency of the bridge, then the bridge is going to start to vibrate with increasing amplitudes. And that of course can damage the bridge and of course can also possibly cause its um, failure. And so bridges are designed in such a way to dampen any vibrations to stop the aspect of resonance. The other example of resonance is in terms of using the resonance concept in medical imaging. So for example, in MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, 
uh, radio waves are fired at hydrogen atoms that have their own natural frequency. Now, I have a video specifically on that. You can investigate it yourself. But in essence, by firing a radio wave with the same frequency as the natural frequency of the hydrogen atoms, you can cause them to change. And then when the radio frequency is turned off, they release that energy, just like this glass is releasing the sound energy after I turn the speaker off. It's a little bit more complicated than that. You can, like I said, you can watch the video that I have on that, but it is nonetheless resonance in action. Well, I hope that has helped you understand a little bit of resonance. My name is Paul. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and make a comment down below if you particularly value this. And if you are a regular follower of my videos and benefit from them, can I ask you to consider supporting me via Patreon? And that allows me to develop my channel, develop more resources, get more equipment, and to be able to explain physics at a high school level. Bye for now.